everyone, welcome back to my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. In this video, I want to talk about the Fat Effects plugin and using its envelope follower to follow an external side chain input and then apply that envelope follower modulation to parameters within the Fat Effects plugin. So to get started, I'm just going to get rid of Fat Effects for now. And this is the way the demo project is set up. It's a beat, a bass, and some chords. And on the chords and the bass, I've got the noise gate on here. And the noise gate is ducking based on the signal from the kick drum inside of the drum machine designer kit. Now, if you don't know how to route that up, if you open up your drum machine designer kit, you'll see individual changes channels for each kit piece inside of the kit. And so what I'm doing is I'm using kick one here as my side chain source to duck the bass and the chords. And you can do that by going up to the side chain source here, going to instrument and then finding the kit piece that you want to use as your side chain source. And so again, here it's kick one. So here's what this sounds like right now. And without those noise gates in, you're just gonna hear long notes in the chords and bass. So what we're gonna do in this video is we are going to add fat effects before the noise gate on the chord track. So you can locate fat effects under multi effects. Here it is, let's load that up. Fat effects has a bunch of different effects inside of it. Um, not all of these are going to sound great when modulated with the envelope follower. So for the purposes of this video, we're not gonna use the distortion unit, the mod effects, the bass enhancer, or the compressor, but you can control the filter, band pass, and master output section and get some interesting uh, rhythmic sequences similar to what we did with the auto filter in the previous video. But here you have even more control and even more options. So let's mute the bass for now and let's determine what part of the drum kit we wanna use as our sidechain source. Now, just like the last video, you could go in and just play in your own rhythmic sequence and use that as your sidechain source, but I wanna use something that's in the drum kit. So let's use hi-hat three. I kind of like that rhythm. So what we're gonna do is go into the side chain sources here, go down to instrument and then find hi-hat three. And so now hi-hat three is going to be feeding the envelope follower. Now by default, the envelope follower is affecting the filter cutoff. So let's go ahead and turn on the filter and you'll see this little blue line here showing the modulation range. If I turn this off, you'll see that blue line goes away and now it's just a static filter, a static control. But by adding in the envelope follower, we're allowing the cutoff frequency frequency to be modulated by the rhythm of the hi-hat. So you can hear it's doing something there. Let's pull the cutoff down a little bit. Let's play around with the attack. Let's make the attack a lot shorter. Let's pull up the depth as well. It's a little soft, let's give it some drive. And remember the gate is ducking on here as well and it's ducking almost all the way down. So let's actually give that some room to breathe so it's not ducking all the way. And 
And just remember, with a shorter attack and release, you're going to get something that's a little more punctuated, a little more percussive. Whereas if I pull out the release time, it's going to increase the tail of each one of those hits. <laughs> Let's pull the cutoff all the way down and let's get something sort of in between. And then with the bass in. So that's very similar to what we did in the previous video with the auto filter. But let's go ahead and turn off the filter. And next, let's try modulating the master output, which is going to control the volume for the entire Fat FatFX plugin. But really all we're doing here is controlling volume. There's no filter on it, but we could pair another parameter with this. So maybe I could pull in the LFO and let's control the bandpass high frequency. So let's go down here to target. Let's go to bandpass high cutoff. Maybe pull that down here somewhere. Let's keep this tempo synced and let's make this like a four bar uh, modulation. <laughs> So just imagine what the LFO is doing is every four bars, it's bringing down the high frequency roll off or cutoff and then bringing it back up over two bars. So over four bars, it's going through this motion. But what you can also do is you can control it directly with the envelope follower. So if I go to target here, let's control the bandpass high cutoff. Let's put it down in a lower starting position here. Uh, make sure that your uh, output section is back up because if you have the output pulled all the way down, you're not going to hear much of anything. And then you can play around with different types of filters. Yeah, I like that sharp one. And again, remember, the original sound is just this. We're adding the noise gate to duck it on the kick drums and a little bit of reverb. And then before that, we're adding the fat effects for our rhythmic sequence. So that's how you can create rhythmic sequences using the envelope follower and the external sidechain source in Fat Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.